I'm not Mitch Connor. Joel, Joel, Joel. What are you doing, man? I mean, right in the first part of your video here, you show the actual context that's, that it's in, and yet are still selective about what you're hearing. They then came to me, what do you think of what I said, it's fine. And if we want to go stronger, I'd go stronger too. Because frankly, that's the way I feel. Can you imagine, can you imagine these people, these animals over in the Middle East that chop off heads, sitting around talking and seeing that we're having a hard problem with waterboarding? We should. And right there you go is the context, okay? Now, yes, maybe you also know that uh, the high quality execution videos are probably all fake. I have made videos showing how many are fake. I mean, seven eight or something like that really really tedious work you know because I get you got to show still frames show how they uh, threw in little edits threw in dummies um, CGI etc um, you know annoying to do I got kind of sick of doing it to be honest but yet while searching through all of uh, these high quality execution videos that yeah are set up by uh, Western intelligence and all that there's also a hell of a lot of uh, single shot, low quality execution videos in public, okay, they're not edited, that are completely legitimate, okay? And even in the context of war, even by the Free Syrian Army, you know, by uh, al-Nusra, yada yada, okay? Isn't that also a violation of the Geneva Con Convention? Because that's what he's trying to say here. We should go tougher than waterboarding. Yes, that's why he's saying it. Now, you're assuming his uh, perception is if he's like in on the whole thing, okay? You assume that he automatically ought to know, you know, that 9-11 was an inside job or whatever the hell you want to, you know, call it, okay? That's a false assumption. I mean, uh, think about it. Trump's a busy guy, okay? Ooh, maybe he has mafia ties, but you're not showing, you know, show me how he has uh, collusion with them in crimes. Otherwise, it's not exactly a valid argument, you know, it's a supposition. You suppose this, but you're not looking at the proper context here. And don't forget this, that he says, this is how I feel. Okay. So yeah, there is some emotion behind that. And it's not that I'm for torture, okay? But it seems like you're just completely blanketed against war. And I would love to see a world with no war. Don't get me wrong. But there is a time for war. And I've said it before. I think, at least in Syria, Russia and Syria should take out the Islamic State and all the radical groups that are funded by the West and that Putin damn well knows are funded by the West. Ammo drops, all that. I know all of that. So, let's move on. Welcome, anti-fascist. Oh yeah, I'm an anti-fascist. You must be anti-Trump. No, I mustn't be anti-Trump just because I'm anti-fascist. I'm not pro-Trump either. He's worth the risk. The amount of stuff you found on this guy is selective. He uh, switches stories continuously. He gets things wrong. Um, I'm not th sure how he survives through all the uh, the changing of stories. Through all the changing of stories, the media is taking his uh, taking every opportunity they can to trash this guy. I thought I'd have. Uh, I just watched his speech today. For Christ's sake, I just watched his uh, speech. Sorry, it was from yesterday. Um, Oh, oh, that's my video. Oh, they put the Aryan subliminal to trash him. Um, this one right here. Donald Trump delivered a scathing response to Hillary Clinton DNC at press conference on 7-27-16. Okay. He correctly points out, hey, where's Hillary's press conference? Hillary's being protected by the media. And they're just going after him and going after him and going after him. Trying to set him up. And it was a fantastic press conference, too. 
No, he's not perfect. No, his memory isn't. He shoots from the hip. He's shooting from the hip the whole damn press conference. different topics that Ooh, he yeah, uh, has lied about or is completely clueless about. Now, the clueless point, that might actually be, th that has some validity, okay? But I just pointed out some things that he's clueless about. As far as anybody can tell, 9-11 being an inside job. Um, for one... I'll go for some more, like if I can remember. On steroids. And he even bush admits on it. steroids. Um, he's even worse. He, he never said he was bush on steroids. Um, Show that quote. Bombing the hell out of countries, according to his words, and then going in and taking the oil. I already laid out the context of the oil and the bombing the hell out of thing. Uh, are you referring to the carpet bombing thing? Because that was actually Ted Cruz that said that in one of the debates, one of the early debates. I will carpet bomb the heck out of ISIS. Or maybe he said hell instead of heck. He's like Exxon to go in and take all the oil. And I explained that his, his understanding of the historical context of it. You assume he's in on the conspiracy, you know, this grand conspiracy or something. He's not a traditional Republican. He used to be, prior to that, he was a Reform Party. Prior to that, he was a, actually a Democrat. Did you know that? And uh, to paper the war. This is exactly like uh, the the Bush Cheney doctrine, except um, he's even more upfront about it. And no, it's not like the Bush Cheney doctrine because it's not about globalism. Okay, he's not saying go and take over countries. He's not saying talk. He's talking anti-nation building. This is just rhetoric. It's not actions. But that's his rhetoric. He's talking about nation building. So at least don't misrepresent his rhetoric. He's, I said that right, right? He's anti-nation building. He said it repeatedly. And uh, for the people who come on my channel and claim this guy is not a warmonger, yeah, you're talking about and that me. he only wants to go after ISIS, is not true. That's a cover. And and what evidence do you have that this is not true and that it is a cover? Are you going to present some? Because. I have not seen a single bit of evidence for this claim, okay? That's the problem. You're supposing this is the case. Why? Because he's a Republican? Because you blanket all Republicans as being in on 9-11, even though Democrats were uh, obviously had something to do with it, too, or some had some knowledge, too. You're going to blanket the whole Congress? Or are you just going to consider, are you going to actually consider the likelihood that most of them, well... <laughs> They just took the, the administration's and the news's word for it. And the military's word for it. Speaking of ISIS, he, um, he calls um, in, in the clip you, um, you heard part of, and you'll hear the rest of sure. in a moment, he calls ISIS animals. Well, well, they kind of are animals with the way they're acting. If you haven't seen any of their actual execution videos, dude, come on. For Christ's sake, they're friggin' brutal. Um, dear Mr. Trump, who created ISIS? And they still exist. I know who damn well who created ISIS, okay? And if Trump is for real, which I never said he was certainly for real, but I'm not going to throw out suppositions and stuff, you know? I'll show, say that I have doubts here and there, but he's worth the risk. This is kind of different than a lesser of two evils. Because I think he has good intentions, as far as I can tell, and I've looked deep into him. And who's funding and training them? Where do you think they got all the white Toyota trucks? Um, who drop ships them arms and supplies? Yeah, yeah, I know all of this. But why do you assume Trump does? That's an assumption, okay? And who creates uh, data networks for them to upload their uh, torture videos on when they're out in the middle of the desert? Yes, a busy um, man like him has time to research all of that in depth. And it was also proven that um, Western countries run their social media campaign. I have a video about that on my channel, actually, from months ago, maybe even a year ago. Yeah, that was the uh, IP being from Britain. They used the excuse that it was uh, sold or whatever. Um, you know, 
could be valid, could be not valid. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was a British IP. Um, we run ISIS, and this guy is so completely clueless, he doesn't even understand that. Once again, you're assuming he has time to research all of this, okay? You're assuming he's into uh, conspiracy theories, because that's... I'm, and I'm not downing, um, you know, kind of, uh, kind of those who are labeled conspiracy theorists by that, but you're assuming, once again, that he knows these things. How do you know he knows these things? He says he wants to um, uh, declare a world war and then get NATO to go in and fight ISIS to get... Yeah, yeah, NATO, I'm sure has ties. I've never actually seen the ties to NATO. I've seen the ties to the CIA. I've seen ties with uh, Rita Katz and Site Intelligence Group, um, all of which are problems that if Trump is for real, yeah, he'll have to... Uh, <laughs> he might get dealt a hard hand. We'll see. Because I, I hope he wins. I'm willing to take the risk. Rid of them because they're so dangerous. Yeah, the same people we created with NATO... It was basically NATO created them um, to basically run havoc throughout the Middle East and threaten different countries that aren't agreeing with uh, the Western um, NATO uh, ideals. No, it was about the Russian deal with Gazprom and uh, Syria and the pipeline. The West wanted the friggin' pipeline. They didn't get it. They were pissed off. So they set off this chain of events and uh, helped start this Syrian civil war. Many of these people are not even from Syria that are fighting against Syria. Uh, or goals. We created ISIS. ISIS was an offshoot of Al-Qaeda. Just a rebranding of them with uh, some white Toyota trucks. And, and they're, they're a threat to a um, massive nation with the greatest military in history and with nuclear weapons. A bunch of, of course they're not a threat to like take over the country. If you look in the long term, okay... If nothing's done about them, maybe it could be, you know, uh, uh, what's the term called? Death by a thousand cuts, basically. Okay. War of attrition. That's what it's called. It could be that. Guys in Toyota trucks. So that's the excuse they're going to use to start a huge, uh, huge war, more war, and justify um, going in and, and stealing oil. He's, he's right up front about it. Just steal it. Like I said, it's his understanding of historical context. He shows no uh, sign that he understands that wars are about resources. You think he's ran, read like Rand Corporation documents? Like, God, in 2000, I read a freaking Rand Corporation document, you know, where I contend that they put it under the premise of, um, you know, they're predicting that this is going to be the case. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was from 2000, uh, where basically the future will be wars over resources. Which falls into the global warming lie and all of that. I'm sorry, but resource <laughs> resources are freaking renewable, dude. Oh God, it's a premise for uh, uh, perpetual war, which no, I don't agree with. But what I am focusing on is uh, the ideology that I have come to understand and really researched over the last year that well, I think is a danger to the world and needs to be destroyed. And, yeah, I think Islam is a false religion, but I don't put it on all of Islam, okay? I would like to see, you know, those who are actually reasonable in Islam who are not... And I'm going to make a video on why Islam is a false religion, a very simple video, because it's that easy. It's simple. Probably, probably try to keep it in one minute, but... Those who that, that are actually peaceful, you know, within Islam... Sorry, it's not an Abrahamic religion. And I would like to see them convinced of that and Islam destroyed in that way after the radicals are all beaten into fucking submission. Um, he is a slick talking... By the Muslims. And now we have people like Alex Jones who years ago said... Um, oh, whatever about Alex Jones. Jesus Christ. Sorry, but in a way, Alex Jones is a patriot. At least he talks like it. he's a fucking opportunist, yada, yada. Maybe a Freemason, maybe not. Um, maybe, you know, that one from a Freemasonic talk uh, with Mark Dice you made could have been um, basically based on his knowledge of uh, learning a little bit about the mystery religions and stuff, and he ends up using that sort of uh, metaphoric uh, speech 
you know, it could be either one. Um, yeah. No, the Muslims weren't responsible for 9-11. He's supporting this guy who blames the Muslims for 9-11. Yep, because he probably doesn't know. He probably doesn't know the 28 pages are a red herring. And in the clip coming up at the end of the clip, he talks about uh, the 9-11 hijackers and how their wives left the country at a time. And I had to go back. This guy shoots from the hip. You think he might have just kind of, you know, turned around his memory a little bit, you know, he made a mistake. I can look up my notes. I'm quite well versed in 9-11 stuff. I studied it a lot back in the day. So did I. So did I. And yeah, I know damn well the hijackers, um, the Bin Ladens were shipped out after, okay? I know this, but man, you're assuming that everybody's memory is friggin' perfect, and you're just saying it's a lie. What if he just messed up? You know, what if his memory was uh, insufficient to say the correct thing? This, what year is it? 2016. This was nearly 15 years ago that it happened. And that's the only reason I ever listened to Alex Jones is because he had some decent guests on about 9/11. And um, that guy, though, has gone completely, um, obviously, uh, hardcore Republican. He always was. Which he was never a hardcore Republican. He was a conservative. Libertarian, really, but he preferred conservatives to uh, the so-called liberals. I mean, the Democrats are really communists, but uh, that's another video. Which means he was always covering for Bush. That's now, that is a ridiculous statement. I can't tell you how many times Jones has fucking gone after Bush, okay? And I'm not a Jones supporter, okay? I used to like him too, okay? But that that is just... I'm not even going to call you a liar. I'm going to call you completely incorrect, okay? The point, too. Um, uh, Trump in his story about 9-11 hijackers leaving and, and their wives left ahead of time. And then they went back home and they watched the hijackers uh, fly the planes into the buildings. That is not a true story. That's com Yeah, and well, once again, that could be a mistake. Complete horseshit. Never happened. I was like, what? And then what he's doing is he's conflating the um, Bin Laden family that was allowed to leave uh, in the days after 9-11 that was allowed to be done by the Republican Party who's who he's uh, no the Bush administration not the Republican Party you're blanketing it on the, uh, every single Republican in con more than just in Congress then in the Supreme Court then in the Bush administration there's Republicans in the Republican Party all over the country. Are you saying that they're all in on it? I mean, saying that, pretty ridiculous too, you know? Like, on my, you know, on my part, but I'm trying to make a point with that, okay? The Republican Party. No, no, no. Bush administration, yes standing in front of and lecturing the same people who are responsible for 9-11. Yes, that's the Republican Party. No. It was the military, the uh, uh, some of the alphabet agencies, and, uh, well, people within the Bush administration. People like the people who helped write the Project for a New American Century. He's, he's making up stories that are totally wrong. And I went and looked this up because I thought I was losing my mind. And um, turns out there's all kinds of articles about it. He's done this about over 10 times. And I'll do a completely different article about this um, or video about this. Uh, I hope to see that video. Because don't forget, he's shooting from the hip. He's not doing what other politicians do where they have their talking points down. Where they have their speeches written, okay? He's done a handful of uh, speeches that were actually written. Shooting from the hip is way harder. 
I gotta give him credit for that, okay? Because you know what? Even if you were like some sort of controlled opposition, he is the best controlled opposition I, I would have ever seen if that's the case. Has been claiming this. He has all kinds of 9-11 lies that he spews, but who does Alec... Now, you're calling them lies because you're not seeing the perspective of somebody who probably doesn't know these things, okay? Okay, now let me complete compl something for you, Joel. Putting people who don't realize that 9-11 was an inside job calling them idiots for Christ's sake how many uh, I mean did you not try to talk to people after it happened and you know you were convinced it was an inside job I sure did you know how many times I got called crazy neither do I because I lost count for years okay I would spew facts at them after fact after fact after fact after fact after fact okay it didn't matter People would look at me crazy and shit, or, you know. <laughs> they even tell me I'm smart, but fucking crazy or something. Or, like, the pe most people can't even fucking believe such a thing that a government uh, would attack itself and even sacrifice its own people so that it could start a war. Jones support a guy named Donald Trump who lies about 9 11 and justifies war. He's a warmonger and. If Guilt by association. I've already explained the difference between a warmonger and a war that needs to be fought. And even the world war scenario, okay, in the context of it, you refuse to listen. And I'm sorry, but it's a sensible context. It doesn't matter who created it when it comes to the fact that, well, they're dangerous and they need to be destroyed. No, I don't like the resources aspect of it. I don't like war over resources. I don't like war for no good reason. I don't like nation building. Apparently neither does Trump. In this clip, it's all about torture. He wants to um, encourage U.S. troops to torture people for him. So I'm sure they'll get... I already explained this part and why he talks about the torture. And it's because... They are violating Geneva law too, or the Geneva Convention law. And it's international law. It doesn't really fucking apply to America, and I'm not trying to fucking justify doing it based on that. I'm just saying, like, fucking Geneva law, UN resolutions are bullshit. They don't fucking really apply. Henry Kissinger has been wanted for war crimes for forever. He went to the, what, the few years ago, the Bilderberg meeting? Didn't get picked up, even though he uh, was wanted for war crimes there. Look, I'm just trying to show how your logic is flawed on this, okay? You're not putting yourself in his shoes. You're assuming, uh, just by insinuation, that he's part of a grand conspiracy or a grander conspiracy or something like that. There's no evidence for this, and that's the problem. <sighs> that's what frustrates me, because, Joel, you're smarter than this, Okay. You're being blinded by partisan politics, okay? Sorry, but a real conservative is trying to conserve liberty, okay? They're not a hateful person. They're not a fascist. There's a time for war and there's a time for peace, okay? War, wars for over resources or perpetual war, not a good thing. But you're not recognizing many nuances to this whole thing, which include his perspective. His perspective, being especially that he shoots from the hip, is very indicative in the nuances of his words, okay? In the context of his words. He has a perspective that is actually his belief, okay? I'm sorry, there is no way. This would have to be, like, the most unbelievable psychopath alive, you know? But, like, I mean... Ah, uh, no, sorry, it was Jason Rogash who thought it was, uh, talked of him as a slumlord, and I disagree with that. Um, I don't doubt that's based on that one documentary that got pulled from YouTube that Vice News was, uh, promoting months ago, um, after it got pulled from YouTube that I shared on, uh, Google Plus, um, when I w was not, when I didn't have a conclusion about Trump, and I was trying to get others to, uh, look at it just to, 
objectively look at uh, what's out there about him. See, I'm not into partisan politics. I mostly believe in conservatism, yeah, because it's really about conserving liber liberty, you know. I believe in free market economics, blah, blah, blah. But I think the Republican Party is full of crap. But I'm sorry. You have to run as a Republican or Democrat. Even Bernie Sanders knew that. He's a freaking independent and uh, senator for years. And he registered as a Democrat so that he could actually have a chance in the election and a uh, seat at the debate, okay? This man is by no means a traditional conservative or um, Republican, no. He joined the Republican Party because, well, he's not going to join the Democrat Party because they're fucking nuts now. And the Republican Party, they're just, <laughs> they got no balls. Trump does, okay? He's trying to um, emit a sense of strength, okay? Like he was just talking in it, um, to reporters uh, yesterday um, in that video that I showed earlier um, that I was watching. <laughs> Putin doesn't respect Obama, okay? Trump is saying he's going to be tough with Putin, okay? He's not going to be a pussy, basically, to paraphrase him. But you know what? That speaks to Putin, because Putin isn't a pussy. Putin, uh, you know, he'll respect an alpha male, because that's what Putin is. And by the way, Trump is the only one that has the balls to say, we want Russia as an ally to help take out the Islamic State, by the way. That is, see, everybody else, Republican and Democrat, is pretty much caught up in, as if it's still, the Cold War is still going on. No, it's not. And then he also sees the danger of the Russia, um, the uh, China alliance, okay? Which, yeah, that is, on the world stage, actually a danger. Especially when the United States, under the Democrat Party, is fucking, uh fucking with Russia, okay, and basically antagonizing them. They're antagonizing them in Syria, they're antagonizing them in Ukraine. Helping install a fascist dictatorship. Yes. Democrat State Department backed fascist dictatorship. Huh, who's the fascist? It's the Republicans, yeah. No, they're both, both sides are in on it, man, but, oh, you're not seeing that. And he even said he respects China in the sense of, um, like, he doesn't like how they're manipulating the currency, you know, and how they're economically able to operate under such a trade deficit or whatever. But uh, you know, he's saying it is U.S. policy that allowed this to happen, okay, and allowed for this Russia-China alliance. Think about that. And think about that in the context of how he keeps saying he does not want war with Russia or China. It's not about that. The world war is about how the Islamic State and its ideology, not race, ideology, has spread around the world. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's more uh, Catholics than there are Muslims, isn't it? One billion Muslims and one point something billion, 1.3 billion Catholics or something. And when you count all the Protestant Christians, well, Christianity, unless you don't want to call Catholicism Christianity, which I can completely understand, um, it, it exceeds Islam. So, well, here you go. 2.2 .2 billion Christians, 1.6 billion Muslims, non-religious agnostic atheists, 1.1 billion, Hinduism, 1 billion. Look, Joel, I don't like the idea of torturing people either. But I'm just trying to put it into the proper context for you because you're missing the context of his perception. So many people support him because he's not a fucking pussy. You understand that? See, that's the thing about liberalism is usually they're fucking pussies. Now, just because, you know, it's not just being a pussy, okay? It's about being a strong leader, and they feel that most of his uh, policies are actually rational. And that's all. Now, this is from his supporters' perspective. 
you see the channel, you see the video, anybody can watch the rest of it because it's just a reiteration of what happened at the start.